Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk about uh, miniature bases and kind of how you can make them look better, I guess. Uh, not necessarily the painting aspect, because I'm not a very good painter, but I, more of a modeling aspect. So let's have a look at uh, some examples. Okay, here we're going to look at a few examples. Uh, so this is just your typical base that you get with your miniature. There's nothing special about it. I didn't do anything to it other than I just painted it gray. It's pretty boring. Eventually I'll uh, put all new bases or do some better details on these bases to make them look cooler. Here's another example of a base that I didn't do too much to. So hopefully the focus will get in. I didn't do too much of this, but you can see subtly there's some texture uh, to the base, and what I did was I used um, uh, styrene, sheet styrene, that has been textured and used for model train stuff. So picked up that at the at a hobby shop and just cut that out and gives it a slightly different look, a little more interesting when it'll be painted. And then here's kind of a, a classic simple example of uh, one of my really old Warhammer miniatures. Um, just some basic green flock, throw it on, makes it look like grass. Looks alright. So those are just a few examples of uh, really simple bases you can do. I mean, the first obviously is doing nothing using the base that comes with your model. Putting it on, painting it, you can paint it elaborately or just leave it plain and have the model showcase itself. Uh, another thing that I've seen quite a bit lately is uh, resin bases, custom resin bases. Um, I forget what companies have them, but I mean, check them out online, you can obviously find them. They look really good. Uh, you paint them up and they look like they're part of the model. I mean, you can get some futuristic ones for Infinity, you can get some industrial ones. Uh, I'm sure you can put them on Necromunda and stuff like that. Another option, if you happen to have a 3D printer, is you can make your own design in CAD and send it to your 3D printer and print it out and after some cleanup, use it on your base and you, it can look pretty cool. You can design it however you want. Um, that's just another alternative to buying the uh, resin bases you see in the hobby store. So here's kind of stuff that I did. Uh, I mean, this is what I did first. I designed some kind of simple hex pattern bases in CAD, uh, made them a model and then sent them to the 3D printer. And this is obviously the, uh, the 3D printer uh, software Repetier that actually prints out stuff. So. Let's have a look at it printing, and then we'll see it afterwards. So this is just a quick test print of my uh, little 3D printer printing a uh, 25 millimeters miniatures base that I made in AutoCAD. Uh, it's just started. It's going to be, it looks like, about seven minutes to complete it. So let's zoom in a little bit. So uh, let's come back when it's done printing. Okay, the print just finished, so let's have a look at the results. Alright, so here's the, the print. Let's see if it'll focus. So, I mean, it, it looks decent. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but you'll never get, really get that with 3D printing unless you have a pretty good printer. This one was only, I mean, like I said, this was a prototype. A couple of years ago, I think I paid four, three or four hundred dollars US. I can't exactly recall, but I mean, for its age and for how cheap it was, it does some pretty good, res pretty uh, good results. So I made a few modifications to the uh, actual file that I'm printing, as well as the printer settings, and after. Looking at it, this is what it looks like now. Uh, it took about six or seven minutes for each one. So the the print actually is better than the first one. Uh, still needs quite a bit of cleanup. So we'll have a look after I clean it up. So here are the final products. I'm pretty happy how they turned out. Uh, I made three different designs and printed each one of them out. It took quite a bit of uh, sanding cleanup to do and you can actually see if you look down on the base there's still the, the lines for the 3D printing but on the top they turned out pretty smooth after a lot of filing and sanding. There still could be 
more work you could be done on them. I mean, you can get them to whatever finish you want, but for me, these are these are good enough, and I think they're going to look pretty good uh, on on miniatures once I actually flip the bases. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to keep them red. I'm going to paint them, you know, probably just a simple gray, and just you know, throw some shading shading in there, make them look pretty cool. But I think they look pretty cool. I, it was pretty easy to do. The, the actual print time was only you know six or seven minutes. The longest time is actually the cleanup and making them get rid of all the print lines and stuff like that. So yeah, there you have it. I mean, that's something you can do to your miniatures to kind of make them look better is just add a, a cool base. Whether it means you're painting a base, buying a base, or if you have a 3D printer, printing out a base. Uh, what I hope to do next is, is take these bases and maybe figure out some way to cast them or make them mold. And I've seen these uh, it's a silicone mold making kit. I've never actually done it before, so it's going to be a first and probably experiment for me. Uh, I'm going to try and take these bases, put them in a mold, and create the mold, and then fill it with resin and see if I can make my own resin bases and see how those turn out. So, let's uh, stay tuned for that in the next video. Thanks for watching.